this video we are going to implement the backend for the home screen so as you guys can see we have a field for search for our destination so in this video we will be going to make it functional okay so when uh, someone click on this field it will pop up a google search auto complete okay from where user will be able to find a place and select it and once the destination is selected a new field will be arrived automatically directly below this field and it will show uh, from location when a user click on it then we will pop up a bottom navigation bar and user will be able to select places from here or user will be able to select their custom place okay so now let's get started okay guys application is running as you guys can see we have developed till here in the last video so you guys have to install two packages Google, flutter google places and google map web services okay these are required after doing this i'm going to change the text field so it should not be a uh, typeable okay i'm going to make it read only sorry read only true and then i'm going to implement on tab function when this text field has been clicked i will call uh, show google um, auto complete okay this is the function that i'm going to create and what will this function perform is it will basically show user uh, auto complete suggestion and for this you guys have to uh, open the web browser and let's check for the documentation okay let's search for flutter google places and open the first link as you guys can see uh, we have given uh, documentation and the code snippet so i'm going to copy this code snippet and paste it inside my widget sorry my function i'm going to make it uh, asynchronous because it is using a weight let's import production and auto complete okay after importing this uh, make sure to make it nullable because it can be possible that if you search for a solu uh, for a place that does not exist and language should be english and you guys can restrict the components like if you want to restrict your search within a specific country so you just have to mention the country right over here okay so i'm going to restrict it i'm i'm not going to restrict it so let's remove this or let's leave it as it is okay after this what you guys have to do is replace your api key okay so i'm going to paste my on and try to use your own okay okay so basically uh, our function is ready now let's call this function uh, as we have already called it let's click on the field and let's see what we get yeah guys it's now here so i'm going to search for my location kda cohort so it will be right up there let's wait for the search okay guys it throw some error let's check what it is okay the error is place her to complete stream controller okay it's not working let's check why let's reverse it to fr maybe we are doing any error
let's let give it a restart and check again if it works Mm, something is wrong let's figure it out what is happening wrong I don't see any useful message null check operator used on a null value okay so it is saying that null check operator is used on a null value okay so basically we have to specify the type as well let's see what it takes in type uh, show and where is the type keyword type now let's check what it expect in the type okay the argument type string can't be assigned to parameter type string okay so we have to assign empty list let's check it out now I'm going to restart it and let's click on the field and hopefully this will work this time again same error now what it is saying okay again it is saying that null check operator is called on a null value uh, let's give it a value of uh, type en let's check with this not luck figure it out on the web flutter google places is not working because null operator is called on a null value okay let's click on this and let's explore the first link okay and Oh, I think this is the same error as like us and yeah it is answered by someone so you need to provide all the required and non null parameter of the function dot show okay so now let's copy in these parameters and let's paste it inside our function I think it's here let's replace it with the copy parameters and one more thing we have to do is we have to paste our google map api key okay google map api key and also we don't require any session token so now let's check by restarting the application i'm going to restart it app is restarted now let's click on the field let's search for k and that's it guys it's implemented so now next what we have to do is when i click on any of the location so this location should be populated inside the search for a destination text field okay so how i can do this is very simple uh, as i already calling this show google auto complete so i will return this address from this function return p dot and uh, let's call um, name there is no name uh, i think let's call the description for now so 
whenever I click on this it should return me a description and we also have to put exclamation mark right over here let's see why it is not okay yeah. it is saying that you can't return anything because we have marked it void so let's return a string from here and let's expect it so it should be future of string not simple string okay and right over here we have to await and mark this function as asynchronous and expect this string right over here selected place okay after doing this we have to assign controller to the field and i'm going to name it destination controller so this is the controller that i will going to put the text inside okay let's create it text editing controller it's created now we have to call destination controller dot text and we have to call selected place after doing this what we have to do is call a set state and right over here we have to create a variable of type bool show source field by default it will be false when the user selected the destination it will become true show source field okay by doing this way what i will doing is after selecting the destination now i have to show user the uh, from where you want to travel okay this kind of let's click again on the search for our destination and i'm going to search for k and let's click on the first and yeah guys it's right there in the text field now let's apply the same decoration that we have applied it for the uh, hint where it is hint style is here we just have to copy the same styling and paste for this style okay so it should reflect the same yeah guys that's it so now let's proceed further what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy the same field and paste it inside and going to change build text from field for source okay and after doing this i'm going to change the hint also from okay so when user click on this it will basically open uh bottom navigation uh, yeah no, not bottom navigation but bottom sheet and also we have to extend increase the size to 230 let's figure it out how, how it looks okay we are we are calling this okay right over here build text field for source and yeah guys it's here what we have to do is we have to apply a ternary operator show source location hope you guys remember the variable that i have created i think i have named it wrong show show what it is let's look for it and yeah it is show source field after doing this it will be shown to the user and let's create source controller too we have to assign right over here and after doing this we have to call get dot bottom sheet this will show a bottom sheet to the user now called container with full width get dot 
width and height should be get dot height into 50% of the available height let's apply some decoration and yeah guys now let's check for the result i'm going to click on the form field and that's it what we have to do now is uh, let's create a child for it So yeah, I have basically applied some constraints, uh, created a column and then I have applied some padding, 20 on the horizontal and 10 on the vertical. So after doing this, uh, let's create some text fields. Uh, I think guys, I have to close the video for now because uh, it's a long video. So let's meet in the next video and we will be working on the bottom sheet in the next video. Thanks for watching.